So this wing, you have a white wing with a pastel color that kind of changes color, mm -hmm. luminescent, and the background is a stained glass. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. I've never seen like the background, but it's like dark burgundy color, yes. like yes. dark navy yes. color and yes. green, and yes. why do I see a stained glass? It's like I know it's wing and stainless, what? but it's I don't see it all the way, but it's just like partially. Mm. I know I don't understand it. Hmm. It's like you're in this sacred setting that you know yes. you're inside of the sacred space like yes your wing is protected by the sacred energy which is so yeah. colorful and mm -hmm. it's beautiful it's mm -hmm. like very quiet mm -hmm. i don't know do you understand what i mean by quiet yeah. like it's it's a quiet setting <laughs> like sacred it's like church with nobody mm -hmm. you know it's just mm -hmm. The you and the divine, you know, mm -hmm. and and your wing is like so big. It's like connected to the universe. It's like phew, mm -hmm. and it's like phew. It's kind of like a octopus tentacles, and mm -hmm. um, it's like reaching over some different mm -hmm. energy. It's like your mm -hmm. kind of your wings are very playful. It's like mm -hmm. kind of like touching all these energies and. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. It's like really fluffy and you have a really soft energy. It's like it's very soft and caring and loving person. Mm, okay. It's like you have the key to become your true self. You I think previously you were searching everywhere to find your true self to understand who you really are mm -hmm. and you try to understand the reason of why you are in this earth and what your mission was what your soul urge was and you want it you were seeking but then i think you're going to come to the point that you are the key you have the answer you have to connect with your inner being and your higher self and to fully understand that and to gain that wisdom and you could do that you could connect you just need a quiet space and quiet your mind it's like you're in a meditate meditation like meditative state and the answer will come to you you will understand the reason for this life understand who you really are who you truly are not what you know with your brain not what you know with your conscious mind but to a deeper level and energetically you're already there like you're already connected to the universe and you get it but you with the body and your ego it's still in the process of getting to that deeper understanding and mm -hmm. in the process of transition and but your wings became a lot more like free and lighter than before so this is that's a really good thing mm -hmm. you know you're a lot more comfortable with who you are which is really important because you had a lot of trouble with that part mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't aware that they were attached to my back, but as you started to open them, I could feel where they were attached and feel them spreading. I would, I would see some colors, but not to the extent that I did today. Today it was, 
different it was. We were, like I say, we were both inside of this capsule of energy, of light. And I, it just felt like they were masters of a higher realm were in attendance, working on both of us. I kept hearing the archangels, Metatron. It's like they were all surrounded. They were all in attendance. That this was um... actually you're right because before I <laughs> spread the wings, I called upon、uh, Archangel Michael first,、mm -hmm. and then it was Metatron.、Mm -hmm. You're getting it right. I, <laughs> so cool. I heard they were they were there. They were, they there. were there for me, right? Yeah, there, and they were so happy. I'm glad. And like I say, they were—they were in the pride. They were fluffing your wings. That's what I was like watching. I was like, "Wow!" It was like I could see a reflection, I guess, in the stained glass or something. But I could see that your wings were being fluffed and spread, and they were adding energy to them. They seemed so honored to be asked. Really? To be a part? To come? Oh.、Yes. Yes, that's. I was like, what? Oh my god! <laughs> I was so surprised, but they—they they were. They were like that. You acknowledge them, that they can be communicated with, that we can talk to them. We can, we can, you know, converse with them. They—they they were so happy because they want so bad for for the rest of of humanity to acknowledge、mm -hmm. that that. Upper level of consciousness and acknowledge the archangels and their their presence and their the fact that they're around us all the time. They want to help. They want to help all of us. But so many people don't. They don't accept the help. They don't realize that they're waiting. They're right there, but they don't reach out. Do you think if they reach out, the archangels will? Be willing to help everyone. Yes, but I think they will. I feel like they're、really、helping everyone, but the problem is they don't. A lot of people don't realize that they're receiving that help because they're they're invisible. It's intangible. They're just that's energy, what I'm saying. So people so. Are, are questioning. They don't believe it. So when something good happens or something occurs, they. Come up with them some other reason, some other explanation as to why they don't accept that angelic beings exist and that they could be helping. That they're reaching across the curtain, so to speak, and helping, assisting us with divine energy. And today they were they were happy because we were we believed in them and accepted and <clears throat> welcomed them. I usually do call upon. Archangel Michael and Metatron、mm -hmm. a lot when I do、mm -hmm. energetic work and、mm -hmm. especially wing braiding because、mm -hmm. it's not only me that's doing it. It's I feel like a lot. I'm getting a lot of、um, energetic support from the archangels and、mm -hmm. the, the divine beings. So、mm -hmm. I humbly ask them for、mm -hmm. assistance and help because I feel like if I ask for their their help, it's more. Magical things will happen. It's just not、mm -hmm. me doing it. It's, it's I'm、mm -hmm. getting this divine energy, and I, I'm hoping that a healing will occur, will occur to a deeper level by asking them for their help. That's what I'm saying. I kept seeing them fluffing your wings, and when I saw them fluffing your wings, I'm like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at this. They're They were like fluffing your wings, but at, at the same time they were fluffing your wings. They were like energizing you. They were、mm. giving you energy、mm -hmm. um, to have more courage, more belief in yourself to to go forward and to do what you're already trying to do,、mm -hmm. <clears throat> and to keep going on your path. What do you think the、um, the stained glass represented? To me, it just felt like a sacred space that you're in, that you're、mm -hmm. really connected to the divinity of it,、mm -hmm. and it feels like you have to 
reach to that level to the you know go through the spiritual evolution by yourself it's like it's you and the divine mm -hmm. or you and the universe mm -hmm. and you can't really ask for people's help right. you can't really go take some courses and get certificate and mm -mm. it's not like that's gonna lead to the awakening I feel like you have to really connect to your inner being and your inner self mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. which is your it could be your higher self and mm -hmm. so I feel like the stained glass kind of represented the sacred space that you have to put yourself yes in. yes yes and I've never seen like a background mm -hmm. attached to the wings you know I would mm -hmm. just see the wings and mm -hmm. the background there's no such thing as background I never mm -hmm. tune into it so mm -hmm. I don't I never really pay attention to that part mm -hmm. and what do you think that represented why do you think that the vision came to me or to you I think like you explained it that it just represented that sacred space that I need to to go to to believe and know that I'm connecting your wing was like really fluffy and very soft, mm -hmm. very, very soft, as if it didn't had any, like a, no bone structure, you know what I mean? Mm. Like no foundation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, if I put you in a square box, mm -hmm. you're gonna fit in, you know? Yeah. It's like that yeah. soft. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you lack in strength. You have to really pull out your strength and it takes a lot of courage to become a strong person mm -hmm. and when I mean strong I'm not talking about like you know like you know typical strong you mm -hmm. know what I mean mm -hmm. but it's more like your inner strength believe in yourself mm -hmm. and to trust yourself and trust your potential and have confidence in yourself and mm -hmm. the ability to accept a lot of things and love yourself unconditionally so that is my unique definition of the word strength which is probably different from mm -hmm. a lot of people's definition because mm -hmm. when you say strength you know you would probably say you know the ability to talk to, talk back to people or mm. you know try to protect yourself and mm -hmm. attack that person which mm -hmm. is a typical strength but mm -hmm. The true strength is a lot deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It's like the ability to accept everything without really getting hurt. And mm -hmm. because even if that person disrespect you, for instance, you you accept that for who they are, and mm -hmm. you understand that that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And it really takes a lot of um, patience and. Well, I know when you started to to do the the spread the wings, it felt like I had a an appendage on my back that I wasn't aware of. Now. Yeah, you can always um, spread out your wings with intention. Yes, today I, I realize that <clears throat> the wings have a have a a, a purpose. Yes, um, they're to be used. Mm -hmm. They're there for a reason. Yes. It's not there just to wow people or exactly. it's not there exactly. just because it's pretty. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's why they can be, it's they can extend out and they can be really fluffy or they can be you, contracted. Yes. Depending on what. You have the ability to control your mm -hmm. energy. It's part of your body. It's like mm -hmm. I have the ability to extend my arm mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I have the ability to spread out my wings if mm -hmm. necessary like mm -hmm. if you don't want to spread it out you can mm -hmm. just tuck it in mm -hmm. and a lot of in a lot of cases people's wings are tucked in mm -hmm. they don't even know that that exists mm -hmm. it's better to be aware of your body parts you know what i mean mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um so that you will know how to utilize them and mm -hmm. you could use it when it's needed mm -hmm. And if you're in like an elevator or with a bunch of people around you and you want your own personal space, mm -hmm. I tell people to 
um, spread out their wings, so、mm-hmm. you could have your own,、mm-hmm. um, exactly, your own space, which is important. I would spread out my wing with intention. You know, I can't reach my back, but everything is.、Mm-hmm. It was with intention.、Mm-hmm. Everything is possible.、Mm-hmm. You can check out more wing painting on my Instagram at showme.wing.